My name is Laz. I'm half Puerto Rican and half Cuban. I'll steal your wallet and then I'll give it back to you. That's, that's how we do. My mom's Puerto Rican. Latina moms, they're like drug dealers for food. They push food on you. They love pushing food on you. I got chicken, I got fried chicken. You know, they, they push the food on you. You know, I come home, you wanna eat something? I'm like, no, mom. I'm fine, thank you. I just ate with some friends, thank you very much. Okay. Are you sure you wanna eat something? I'm like, mom, I cannot digest any more food. Thank you very much. Okay. But why don't I bring you a little bit of rice? You want some rice? Ma, I cannot eat. Is this how you treat your mama? <laughs> then you feel all guilty now. All right, Ma, you know, fine. Bring me some, I can eat something. Bring me something to eat. Well, Jesus Christ, now I gotta cook something. What, <laughs> what is wrong with you? I got a Cuban father. Cuban fathers are very strict. You know, as a kid, I'd be like, Daddy, I want that toy truck. You want that truck? Build it yourself. And don't call me dad in public. Okay, Pedro. <laughs> it's like growing up with chubby Scarface. Like, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Why are you eating my Capitan Crunch for, huh? <laughs> huh? You can never get anything past the Cuban fathers. Like, Daddy, I'm hungry. Hey, Cuba! We didn't have food. I'm like, what? We used to have to hunt turtles for food. They're much faster in Cuba. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, you kids got it easy. You kids got it easy these days. Let me tell you something, you ungrateful little bastard. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I came to this country on a freaking saltine cracker. Okay? <laughs> I floated over here on a freaking saltine cracker. There was 80 of us <laughs> on this cracker. But I survived because I was in the middle. <laughs> salt tin crackers are comprised of two things, salt and tints. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and when you're a kid, your only source of information is your parents. Besides Sesame Street, that's it. And you have to trust what they say. But it doesn't help if both your parents have thick Spanish accents. For years, holidays would be confused for me, for years. I thought there was a holiday called Happy Sam Gibbons Day. And my mom would answer, Happy Sam Gibbons? Happy Sam Gibbons and a Merry New Year. And then there was Bell Day. And my parents would sing it to me every year. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I thought I was Jewish. To you. <laughs> what is going on? But see, my parents are cool because they've been together a long time. You know, there's no, there's no such thing as couples anymore. There's no couples. You know, you ask the people, well, they, they don't date, they don't date. What do they do? They see each other. Oh, we're just seeing each other. We're seeing. We're seeing each other. What's next? Oh, we're just listening to each other. We're just, we could see other people, but we only listen to each other. And I'm smelling two people right now. There's no couples anymore partly due to technology technology changes the way we date changes the way we communicate with each other now you got the text messages people text messaging have you ever had a text message fight it takes like three and a half days right it's like having a fight in slow motion you don't understand me. Send! And you send it with gusto. Send! <laughs> then 
you gotta wait for the response? And you're like, oh, damn it. It's messed up. I'm telling you. You ask a couple where they met nowadays, what do they tell? Oh, we met online on MySpace. I read his profile and I fell in love. MySpace. MySpace is nothing but a meat market for humans. Girls, don't bother writing anything in your profiles because guys do not read it. We go straight to the pictures. You can be psycho. I like to burn myself. We go straight to the pictures. We don't read. We don't know what's going on. With the MySpace. Now you can't even take a picture without somebody saying, oh, that's a good MySpace picture. That's a good one. Save that one for me for MySpace. I'm going to use that one. And then a lot of the girls' profiles, you read them. I want a prince to treat me like a princess. You better have a job, you better have a car, because I hold up my own, because I'm a respectable woman. Then you go to the pictures, and they're half naked like this. They got the animated one now with the booty. <laughs> guys, don't front, because guys got those MySpace pictures too. <laughs> Who are you pointing at? Why, are you, why is this a cool move, pointing? Who are you pointing at? Right, they're all cool and stuff. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's bright in here, it's really bright. There's a lot of lights. You gotta be careful these days. You gotta be careful what you get yourself into, you know? I like to experiment, and I've experimented before. I've experimented with the wacky tobacco, you know? You gotta be careful smoking pot. You can't smoke pot, you know? You find yourself hungry at McDonald's at 3 a.m. Looking at the menu, you know. <laughs> One time I was there, I was at McDonald's, and I was like, let me get a cheeseburger, some fries, and a large drink. And she's like, what kind of fries? I said, French. She's like, small, medium, or large? I'm like, oh! Oh! I'm so sorry. I lived in an apartment with three roommates, all male. Filthy as hell! My place was so dirty, the dust had its own shadows. That's my time. Thank you very much. My name is Laz Vecito. Thank you. <laughs>